More than two million views. An edited version of a Fair State professor's controversial video continues to go viral on TikTok tonight. And while he's on leave from the university, many are speaking out to show their support for him. 13 on your sides, Nate Belt is here to tell us about the help he's receiving to keep his job. Yeah, Juliet, as those views continue to soar, many people are reaching out to show their support for Barry Mailer, not only online, but at least in one case, through legal aid. You people are just vectors of disease to me, and I don't want to be anywhere near you. So keep your distance. We made a determination. That, yeah, this is protected speech because, uh, you know, at public universities, faculty have First Amendment rights. They have academic freedom. That's why the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, or FIRE, got in touch with Barry Mailer. The nationwide nonprofit heard of Mailer when his video went viral this week and jumped to defend his rights as a professor. They have wide latitude to decide uh, how to teach their courses, how to deliver course content, even if some people might find their speech offensive or, or distasteful. FIRE is even providing Mailer with an attorney for free through its legal defense fund in the hopes of getting him back into the classroom. What we would ask of Ferris State is to immediately drop its investigation of Professor Mailer and restore him to the classroom uh, immediately because there's really nothing to investigate here. Dr. William Thompson, a public health official who's known Mailer for 30 years, agrees. I don't see why the university couldn't allow him to go back to teaching online for the last semester of his long, successful career. Thompson has been cited in dozens of peer-reviewed publications, including a few on COVID-19. He says Mailer's points on feeling unsafe are valid. If I were in his, uh, in his shoes and I was 74 years old, I would retire right now because, you know, what do you want? Do you want to die the last semester you're teaching? I don't want to know about you. I don't even want to know your name. I just look at the number and I assign a grade. In another trending portion of the video, Mailer says his grades are decided through predestination and students have no say in them. And don't come complaining to me. Take your complaints to God. He ordained this system, not me. Thompson believes Mailer was not being serious about that, but drawing attention to the rest of his complaints. I think his bigger point that he was being, you know, attempting to make there is this is a life threatening situation that the university is asking me to go into. Uh, over the last couple days, I've attempted to get in touch with Mailer himself through a few different methods. I haven't heard back from him at this time. And I did get in touch with the university today who tells me that there is no further comment on the story. Julia. And we'll continue to follow this. Thank you, Nate.